Is your drive not powering up? Well, you might be telling it not to. Why am I saying that? Let's find out. Now, the first time I stumbled upon this issue was actually only a few weeks ago. See, what happened was I was used to using stuff like this where we have a Molex connector and four wires. Then I tried out one of these, which is SATA to SATA with five wires, including an orange one. And this drive would not show up. Interestingly enough, my SAS2 drives would show up, but not the SAS3 drive because it's newer. So what is this orange wire for? Well, it carries 3.3 volts and it's used for some really old stuff that you probably won't care about. And that's actually the reason why I believe it was Western Digital kind of changed the specifications to where this actually had a meaning. The meaning was, I'm gonna shut you down. So I found this interesting document here from Western Digital, and I believe it's dated in 2016, and it's talking about the power disable feature. Now what it does is it forces the hard drive to get stuck in a hard reset condition, preventing the hard drive from spinning up, i.e. it just won't give power to it. How does it do it? It actually tells you here, this feature is hardwired by sending a high level signal to P3, pin three, special circuitry on the hard drive physically removes power to the SOC. This external circuitry cannot be configured by firmware, which means no matter what you do, you can't change it. It's physically there. You won't be able to modify it. So which drives is this applicable to? Well, Basically, we're talking about SATA 3.3 and SAS 3. There's a power disable pin here and pin 3. And we can also see here, this is not quite orange, but this wire is the one that actually leads to pin 3. So what does that mean for you? Well, if you hook 3.3 volts to a newer drive, it's not going to power up. So how do we resolve this issue? Well, I'm gonna show you four different ways of doing it. And I'm gonna start with the one that's actually in this document. So if we scroll up, we actually see Molex to SATA cable. And that is what we have here. One single Molex to SATA cable. And here we see that we're lacking the fifth one, the orange one, the one that is 3.3 volts. Another way of doing this is having one of these breakout cables that also starts with a Molex. And again, we got four wires here. That means we're, we don't have 3.3 volts. Now, the third solution is the ugliest solution, but it's also the simplest solution and probably fastest as well. So what you can do is you can grab some electrical tape and just cover the third pin. Now it's okay for you to cover pins one, two, and three. Just don't cover pin four. We just need to make sure that the entire pin three is covered. So what's the fourth solution? Well, in the case of this type of cable, the problem is actually the orange wire. So how can we remedy that? Well like that. There you go. You're done. It's fixed. <laughs> so what if you have this issue with a backplane? Well, the way I see it, you got three options. If you're doing this on a desktop and you have an external backplane, just change the backplane to something that actually works. Option number two, you can physically remove pin three, either scraping it off or just cutting it and that's a permanent solution. You won't have to worry about it later. However, I would not recommend it because if you ever want to use that feature later in life, you won't be able to. Option number three, just tape pin three on the drive itself. And that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Until next time. Bye.